so let's look at naming um, simple mono and di substituted benzenes. If we only have one substituent bonded to the benzene, and just notice that these substituents are all taking the place of a hydrogen, so there's going to be a single bond from the benzene ring to that substituent. If there's only a single substituent, then no number is needed. So for example, if there's one bromine attached to the um, benzene ring, we would call it bromobenzene ethylbenzene. And then this substituent we have not seen before, this nitro group. So you'll see that as a substitution, uh, substitution for a hydrogen atom. Now when we have di-substituted benzenes, um, then we number them according to their relationship using the smallest number possible. So if we look at this one on the left, 1,2-dibromobenzene. And then um, this is a typo here. It should be 1,3. Although, of course, if that 1 is missing, we, we know uh, that the one of the substituents is going to be a 1. And notice if we have two different substituents, um, they're arranged in alphabetical order. So 1,3-chloronitrobenzene and 1,4-dimethylbenzene. Now, there's an old-fashioned um, description that is still used. O is used or ortho when two substituents are in the 1, 2 position. M or meta is used when two substituents are in the 1, 3 position. And para or P is used when the two substituents are in the 1, 4 position. So rather than saying 1, 2 dibromo, I could say ortho dibromo benzene or O dibromo benzene. Same thing with this 1, 3 chloronitro, I could say meta chloronitro or M chloronitrobenzene. And then here, instead of saying 1,4 dimethylbenzene, I could say para or P dimethylbenzene. Now, there are three common names that you have to identify because they are used commonly. So you will be quizzed on this, so be sure that you take notes on this. Methylbenzene is known as toluene. Hydroxide benzene is known as phenyl, and just FYI, the properties of phenyl are different than those of an alcohol, even though it's the same functional group, that OH. And aminobenzene, or NH2, um, is aniline. So you have to know those names. And frequently, when you, we use those names, the old-fashioned O, M, or P is also used if these are substituted toluene, phenyls, or anilines. So if we have toluene where a chloro is um, bonded in the 4 position from it, we would call that p-chlorotoluene. If we're using these, these um, common names, we tend to use the OMRP rather than the systematic names which are numbered. And here we have phenyl, which is in blue, and that hydroxyl singly bonded to the benzene ring is our phenyl, and then we have a nitro in the three position, so we call that m nitrophenyl. and then here we have aniline, where NH2 is singly bonded to the benzene ring, and a bromine in the two position, so we call that o bromoaniline. So when we use these common names of toluene, phenyl, or aniline, if they're substituted by another substituent, we tend to use the p, m, and o, rather than the systematic numbering system. Now, if a benzene ring is a substituent itself, for example, if we look at this compound on the right, and the longest chain is seven carbons, that's longer than um, the six carbons in the benzene ring, then the benzene that is bonded to this seven carbon backbone is considered a substituent. And when the benzene ring is considered a substituent, we call it a phenyl group. So the name of this um, hydrocarbon here with the seven carbon backbone and the phenyl group bonded to the three carbon is known as three phenyl heptane.